Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Darshi Lin won America's Hearts at just 12 years old with her unique blend of ventriloquism, comedy and singing on America's Got Talent season 12, taking home the top honor that year. Since then, the talented young star has been performing regularly for her fans. Now at 19 years old, the AGT champ is back on America's Got Talent, Fantasy League, and ready to prove she's still got what it takes to be a world-class entertainer and potential winner as a member of Heidi Klum's dream team. Darcy Lynn decided she wanted to show off a new side to her multi-talented personality, admittedly taking a risk as she stepped back out onto the AGT stage. America choosing me to come back as one of their favorite acts is a really big honor. I think it is a little pressuring though, she admitted. I feel like I have to, like, live up to what I did when I was 12. But I just don't want to be put into a box, and so for my performance tonight, I'm doing something different. I think people are gonna be surprised. Darcy Lynn took the stage alongside a familiar face, her pink puppet, Petunia, the very same puppet who helped her earn the golden buzzer in season 12 of AGT, and quickly slipped into the same comedic banter that has endeared the pair to their fans. Oh, the moment you've all been waiting for, me, Petunia broadly declared. But this time, Darcy Lynn was quick to hint that there could be a change to their dynamic. Oak Petunia, this isn't all about you and plus I'm 19 now, she said, adding. I feel like I'm old enough to do this on my own now. The fan favorite then launched into a high-energy rendition of I've Got the Music in Me, shocking fans when she removed her hand from Petunia, causing the puppet to slump over and grabbed a guitar to step out on her own. Fortunately, Lynn didn't completely leave her faithful friend behind. Just moments later, Petunia miraculously came to life on her own and provided backup by dancing in her chair and stepping in to occasionally provide vocals, creating a unique infusion of old and new. After the rock-influenced hit came to a close, Klum gushed that the act was absolutely fantastic as the audience cheered. I'm glad you didn't abandon Petunia all the way because this is how we fell in love with you, she said. Not all the judges had quite the same warm reception, though. Judges Mel B. and Simon Cowell both admitted they preferred Lynn's more classic blend of ventriloquism and comedy. I almost love the simplicity of what you were doing back then, and I just feel like the music and everything else overshadowed what you're so good at. Mel B. confessed the Oklahoma City native was just 12 year old when she became a pop culture phenomenon with her polished ventriloquism skills, earning the coveted golden buzzer from Mel B. during her first AGT edition. Mel B. giving me the golden buzzer is honestly one of the most incredible moments of my life, but winning was just like out of the question. Darcy Lynn said of her past when ahead of her performance on AGT, Fantasy League. After taking home first place and a $1 million prize, the youngster made the talk show circuit rounds and even performed in Las Vegas. I remember seeing Gilo's Jennifer Lopez poster up in Vegas and then, like mine right next to her, and I was like, that's not real, like that is super cool, she recalled. Two years after her win, Darcy Lynn placed second in AGT, The Champions. Since then, the teen sensation hasn't slowed down, performing in her own NBC holiday special Darcy Lynn. My Hometown Christmas in 2018 and focusing on her growing passion for music. Darcy Lynn's Instagram page and TikTok are filled with stunning live performances, including a recent Stevie Wonder cover of Don't You Worry About a Thing and a vulnerable a cappella rendition of Chris Stapleton's Broken Halos. In 2022, Darcy Lynn showed off her acting skills in the Netflix film, A Cowgirl Song, and completed her own cross-country tour, aptly named My Lips Are Sealed, except when they're not.